Hello and a warm welcome to this Bitwig practice session. In this episode I talk about parallel effects. About uh, effects you can use nearly in parallel with the help of the new and uh, the new channel 16 modulation that was introduced in Bitwig 4.2. I prepared a little tune and where I can show you what I mean. Just have a listen. So let's get started. So this is the little tune and here is the FX selector and the channel 16 modulator. So let's, let's just start with the channel 16 uh, modulator. I press the F1 for help. And um, this modulator is uh, fairly very simple. It has here a mini display where you can see from which MIDI channel a signal is incoming. Then you have all the 16 MIDI channels with a modulator knob where you can modulate some parameters in your device. And in the bottom you have um, two uh, dial knobs. The one is called lag and lag is a combination of um, Attack and release or uh, rise and fall or attack and decay. So uh, at the position um, 7 a.m. This is this has a very quick attack and a very quick decay. And um, the more you get to 12 o'clock or 5 a.m. The attack is much more slow and the release is as well much more slow. So that's all. I would have preferred to have two buttons to uh, configure that separately, but okay. Um, and this one is the global amount uh, dial knob. You know that already, I think. So this is just if you if you modulate something to 100% or 50, let's say 50%, and the global amount is 100%, and you dial down to 50%. So this 50% here. It's just only 50% worth, so at the end it's 25%. So everything you modulate from with those things, you can dial down from 100% modulation down to zero. Okay, that's the channel 16 modulator. And my set, setup is as follows. Sometimes I want to have like a little glitter in, in one track of my arrangement. Like you heard here at the end, where let me just play the last, the last clip here. So in such situation, I want to um, put a part or a note to other to another effect and the e most easiest way is to use an fx selector and to switch in that situation in that moment to the other effect here it is from a reverb to delay 2 and then switch back and the, i use the channel 16 a little bit different maybe as a bit we thought because i don't use as much uh, external gear so i thought about using it internally and if I open now this clip, you see a lot of notes and the most notes you see here are assigned to channel MIDI channel 1 here in the inspector. And this note with a different color is assigned to channel 2. The different color you can configure here with right click and just show no channel. So you see which notes have a different channel. And these are, this is velocity as well. So this note is on uh, channel two, and there the modulator, uh, the channel 16 is uh, coming into the game because everything is playing on one, and on one there is, there's nothing modulated because the FX selector is configured to play on on the uh, fx1 on the reverb so every note is playing on the reverb and as soon the 
um, channel 2 MIDI channel 2 is coming in I modulated this with the MIDI channel 2 to go up to the delay and you can put another note in it for example and configure that note to MIDI channel 3 for example and you have to um, modulate surely this MIDI channel 3 as well so it jumps to the amp device. So this is a neat little trick to place some glitter in your in your tracks in your arrangement a quick. Before that I uh, used to do that with a with an automation lane. So I I um, draw in like change to this delay effect and then change it back to reverb. So that was my selection until then. But with the channel 16, you can just use these MIDI nodes to abuse this channel 16 for such uh, little tricks. But this trick has a little drawback because even I called that um, tutorial parallel effects. This is has a limitation in uh, parallel processing because um, if you play, for example, the amp and the delay to effect the same time, you have two modulations that fighting each other. The first modulation, the, the two, MIDI channel two, is um, configuring it to the delay two, and at the same time, the MIDI channel three is dialing it up to the amp. So the um, the selection don't don't stop at the delay two. It just rushes down to the amp. So both nodes would play on the amp effect. So what you can do is just to do a little trick like not playing them in parallel. You play it in serial after each other. So you can be sure that the transient or the first part of this note will be played in the delay two and the note that comes after that will be played in the amp. Um, so this effect is really more for, like I said, some glitter effects, but not really to play um, parallel effects all the time. For that you have to use a, um, maybe a scent effect or a second track in your arrangement. And one thing that is important as well is that if you use these modulators to modulate uh, to the right effect you have to know that the that you have to count from zero to one to two because i just put that back the modulation goes from zero from this one and this is one. So everything, the, the, the middle between zero and one in this is um, dot five. So as soon you are under dot five, it will choose the reverb. As soon you go over dot five, it chooses the delay. So if I just put that here, it's the reverb. And if I modulate that over dot five a little bit, it uses the delay with a pitch shifter. And the same, you go to one, it's still the delay. And uh, the middle between one and two, one and two, is one dot five. So as soon you go ab above one dot five, like hopefully that. You hear the amp is playing. That's important to know when you modulate this device. So that's all at the moment. And that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, I would love to hear what you are doing with maybe the channel 16 or maybe to such situations where you put some additional effects in, in there and uh, Maybe you don't want to have like 100 uh, tracks in your arrangement. 
Um, please leave me a comment about that. Um, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos. It would help me much. And um, yeah, stay healthy. Hope I see you soon. Take care. Ciao, ciao.